Hi there. Okay, so we are into section three of key area two. Uh, so this is a final video in this particular key area on the cerebral cortex, and we will be covering split brain. Now we've included split brain because it's a common exam question that crops up. You kind of need to know how to work through them. Uh, so we'll try our best or can as best as we can to explain this. It is a difficult concept though, so be aware of that. If you're still not sure after this video, find a teacher to ask. Uh, and clarify but also practice some of the past paper questions you'd be surprised how similar they all are and once you've got the hang of the answers in them you should you should be okay okay so the split brain is basically the idea of sometimes you might have to have your corpus callosum cut so your brain cannot communicate so the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere can't actually connect because the corpus callosum has basically just been sliced and this is not something that commonly happens it's very very rare and um, generally it's just people who have some extreme forms of epilepsy as a way of trying to help with it and um, there are a few other reasons but generally that is the main one and it's just the idea that they've literally taken the middle of the brain they have cut it down the middle now there are experiments that investigate um what the, what the split brain actually causes which is what we are going to look at now they are very specific it's not like this just happens in everyday life like the people with split brains go around and do this thing there is kind of a very specificness to it but we'll talk about that as we go through it okay now the split brain experiments you will get a picture like this in your exam question in fact a picture practically identical to this um, now, this person has had their corpus callosum cut, so you can see on the diagram there is no join between their two hemispheres. Now, they have been told by the person organising the experiment, read all of the words on the board out loud and use your left hand to pick up the objects on the board. Now, they're staring at that dot in the middle, so basically the left eye can only see the word key, the right eye can only see the word ring, um, and then they should feel around and grope around for the right shaped objects. So what they should be doing is say key, ring, and they should be picking up a key and a ring. But they haven't. This person has their corpus callosum cut and they have just picked up a key and they've only said the word ring. Okay. Now that is one of the side effects of this and we're going to go into the reasons why. Essentially there's an extra little help of um, information down there inside the brain. It tells you that speech is on the left cerebral hemisphere and that the left hand is controlled by the right cerebral hemisphere. Okay. Now the key to this is remembering what eye is seeing what. Because remember, your left eye will convey information to the right cerebral hemisphere, your right eye will convey information to the left cerebral hemisphere. So let's go into what's happening there. Okay, so because that center of speech is in the left in the left hemisphere, so basically the thing that controls what you say is in the left hemisphere of your brain. That means that you can only say whatever you see out of your right eye. Obviously, if your brain can communicate and doesn't have a corpus callosum cut, you can say whatever you see. But if you've got that cut, you can only physically say what your right eye sees because only your left side of the brain is processing those words. So in this case, the right eye will be saying the word, seeing the word ring. So the right eye is seeing the word ring and that information is going to the left hemisphere. So the speech bit in your brain is saying, well, I need to say the word ring because that's the only word that I can see. It can't say the word key because it's got nothing to do with the left eye because that's the right side of the brain and that's not got to anything to do with speech. Now, the fascinating thing is if you ask this person what did you, uh, what word was on the left, they'd say, I don't know. That They genuinely have no idea. Even though their hand picked up a key, they would not be able to say the word key because their, left, their right cerebral hemisphere doesn't have that ability to talk. It's so weird. Right, now let's deal with why did they pick up the key? Because the right of the right hemisphere of the brain only gets information from the left eye, it can only tell the hand to pick up a key. So again, left eye looks, sees the word key, gives that information to the right cerebral hemisphere, right cerebral hemisphere tells the hand, the left hand, okay, pick up the key. It cannot tell the um, hand to pick up the ring because it doesn't know that the word ring is there. It genuinely doesn't. And this is again where we get into something that's very ununderstandable for a lot of us. Imagine half of your brain knowing something and the other half not. It's it's so, so strange. Now, this is about as best as we can explain this. This is the reasons why these certain things happen. And this is the reasons why, basically, it's the information that you put into an exam question. Okay. Um, it might be clarified by watching this video here. Okay. Now you can use the QR code. Fancy me being putting in QR codes. Hopefully that QR code, if you photograph it and follow the link, it will take you to a YouTube video of a person who is doing this experiment. So it's an actual person who's had their corpus callosum cut because they had epilepsy, a certain form of it, specific form of it. Um, and they've done the split brain test 
and it's it's not the youngest it's not the newest video in the world i think it's from the 70s 80s and the quality of it but it is really interesting to watch what is happening to this person uh, in terms of what they can it's demonstrations of basically that they're the two cerebral hemispheres are totally separate okay so to summarize we can't really do much more in the split brain because that's essentially it but summarize the entire cerebral cortex you've got sensory areas in your brain that are going to receive sensory information from organs you have motor areas which are going to generate any movement signals your association areas for intelligence language processing personality and imagination are somewhere in your brain the corpus callosum, that's the bit that basically connects the left and the right hemisphere and allows communication between the two. Your left hemisphere is controlling the right side of the body and it also has the speech area in it. And your right hemisphere controls the left side of your body and doesn't have a speech area in it. It's known as the silent brain, which I think is alternately creepy and amazing at the same Sounds time. Sounds like a horror film. It does. Okay, we hope you enjoyed Cerebral Cortex. Um, this particular bit really does okay. fascinate me. We, we normally in class go into a lot more detail in this but it is just a YouTube channel, so we didn't want to overwhelm you with information on this occasion. The next key area is also really interesting. It's about memory. Um, so we'll be looking at how short-term memory and long-term memory actually work um, and you know the kind of mechanisms. How do you get stuff from short-term memory into long-term memory? And it looks a little bit at learning as well. So uh, join us in a couple of weeks for that topic and we will see you soon.